Hello, Your Honor. This is the case of Singleton versus Gray. Thank you. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Mr. Singleton, you claim that your wife, the defendant, Ms. Gray, has never been honest with you about the child she claims is your daughter. During a heated argument, you claim she told you that you may not be the father of three-year-old Ariana, and you've petitioned the court for a paternity test and declare that if you learn the child is not yours, the marriage is over. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Ms. Gray, you admit you do not know for sure if your husband is your daughter's biological father. You also desperately want today's results to know if you and your husband can have a future together. Now, Mr. Singleton, how did you find out your daughter may not be yours? Well, I got a phone call from her at the uh, doctor's office, actually. We had had an argument recently. She got with him. No, for... actually, you cheated on me. And that's the reason why I, cheated. I went I cheated, with my ex. yes. But you went to your ex immediately. No, we wasn't together, so it's not called cheating. Well... So, in the beginning of the relationship, there's cheating. Yes. Before there ever was a marriage. Yes. Both of you. Well, I wasn't cheating. She, we weren't together. She claims to not be cheating, but what I'm saying is, is that we had an argument. She immediately went to him. Like, there was no question of it. You know what I'm saying? Like... What was I supposed to do? What I... were you supposed to do? We just had an argument. That don't mean you gotta okay, go and you were mess with your I went to your phone quote, records, unquote. and I found you were talking to females 3 o'clock in the morning. So, Ms. Whatever. Gray, what you're saying is you're in this relationship, and you look and see some text messages, and you realize he's up to no good. Yes, so that's why I went with my ex. And we didn't have no protection. With your ex? Yes. Exactly. But that was two weeks after... Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You had all the respect in the world but for the fact like that I, I was cheating. You. Hold on. You had all the respect in the world for the fact that I was cheating, supposedly, no, right? We were, I but wasn't then cheating. The, the, the thing is, you turned around and you didn't respect yourself by putting a condom on. I, I cheated many a times. I'm not gonna lie and sit up here and lie to the judge or lie to you or anybody and say I didn't cheat. But I'm gonna tell you one thing: I certainly didn't have nobody calling me about no babies. Whatever. So at some point, despite all this cheating, you get back together. Yes. And that is when she called and told me from the doctor's office that she was having a baby. So we're on the phone and I'm excited. I'm having a nice conversation. I'm still talking. She quiet. I'm like, okay, well, I'm, ha I'm talking about, oh, we're going to put this together. I'm going to change. I quit cheating and all that. That's, that was what's going through my mind. That's what I'm telling her. And then she pauses me and goes, but it's not yours. I told him, I said, I was with my ex, and there's a possibility she, might, she may not be yours. You laid it all on the oh, table. Oh, no, 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 no. You didn't say it was no. You said, I had sex with my ex. We did not use protection. And I'm telling you, it's not yours. I don't want you around. I wanted something new. Oh, Name the baby after so me. now you are admitting that what he's saying is true. You told him straight up. Yes. This baby's not yours. I told him. I believe the only reason why we're here today is so he can get a way out. All of a sudden, he wants to get a DNA test. Well, oh, wait, yeah, I... well um, Mr. Just Ms. Trying Gray, to find out. when you look at a man and tell him the baby is not his, I mean, that's a capital D for doubt. He should have gave me a pass. He cheated on me. But it's not about the pass of cheating. It's about the fact that you looked at the man and told him it's not your child. That's what I'm so saying. So if there was any door of doubt to be open, you just pressed it right on open and marched through it. Exactly. That's what I need you to understand. You get that, right? Yes, I understand. He could always hold that in the back of his mind. I understand, but I thought he was different. He wasn't... I'm used to dating thugs. I'm not used to dating good guys with the glasses and a good job. I'm used to going after guys oh. that hustling, oh. and that's what I like. My okay. ex is in jail right now. Let me give you a little woman tip. Go after the ones with the glasses and the good <laughs> job. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on. At some point, after telling you the baby was not yours, mm -hmm. she had to have told you that the baby was yours. Exactly. Your when Honor. did this happen? The guy went to jail. So then all of a sudden, here come the new story. Oh, well, it's your baby. I added the months up right, and this is actually your baby. So 
in incongruence with how I felt the first time. Incongruent. Yes. The same way you I felt. You better go ahead the same with that argument. No, the same. Go ahead. Go ahead now. The same way. I, the same way I felt when she initially called is the same way I felt when she told me that it was mine. Okay, but while you're trying to sit up here and make me look like the bad person, because you are. What about all the pictures? And how you were calling other girls nicknames, and what about I mean, that? You know, you're, people you're, do you're, that. You're, you're at, we're supposed to be at work. Yeah, but and you're on the phone at three o'clock in the morning hey, talking to females. That's <laughs> Mr. So... Singleton. I listened to a lot of cases from this bench, but you cheating? Now you telling him he's cheating? He's telling you he's you cheating? Tit for cheating tat, though. And cheating and cheating and. They don't cheating. make it right. It is so tit for tat. And the most ridiculous part of it is that you all are stuck on the tit for tat and not understanding that you got a child here that doesn't want any part of that game. Look at her. And she loves him, so I don't even know why he's putting us through this. Because when the baby came out, I had to have 50 million people come up and ask me a lot of questions. Just because she's light-skinned? Why light she looked like that. I even had to go uh, and look up on, like, to see, like, different genetics to make sure you know what I'm saying? The only place in her face where she looks like me is right well, here on her I'm eyebrows I'm glad you looked nose. up and found the answer so that you can understand that exactly. children come in all skin colors. It's genetics. Right. You understand? Yeah. So I do understand, however, your doubt is real. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. going on, mm -hmm. you married her. I was trying to do the right thing. Did you tell the man it wasn't his child? What was your I point? I never told was him that. It... that. I never told him. I said you got it was on a... the phone. I told him it was a possibility. No, you didn't say no possibility about nothing. You got on that phone that day from the doctor's office and you told me plain straight out. You said So why he... did you marry me then? If because I love you, and there's no way that you, you can You love there... me, but you're, you talk to other females, and you send in naked pictures and stuff, and... I mean, I, I had some issues with that. We all got issues in here. But what I'm telling you is, is that I have made <laughs> okay, the right but what about your We all got, issues, we all in got here, issues in here, right? Everybody got issues? Who don't yep. got issues? Okay, Who look, got issues? Mr. Singleton, and I'm trying to understand yours, because as you stand here in your glasses... Yes, with your job... Have, what about your kinky parties that you want to have? Mm, okay. I and like to throw parties. I like to go to parties. Stuff. So, I mean, if it's anybody that's nasty, it's him. You cheated on me. Was I supposed you to stay with you? You didn't have to name you? the baby after him? I, would, I didn't know. As I was about to and say... And I don't believe a married man should have... As you stand here in parties. your suit, with your glasses, and your research, I'll tell you what is not congruent. You seem, on the outside, to be a stand-up guy. And yet, Ms. Gray says... You having kinky parties, sending pictures to girls, and cheating. Can what does herself. your research show about that? You got a point. Cool. They're, they're, I mean, that's that's a valid point. But what Thank I'm you. what I'm saying I is, I make those sometimes. That's very true. But what I'm saying is, is that I took the time to make vows. I put the ring on. Okay. You also took the time to talk to other females and be promiscuous. Yeah, you, but you what I'm saying is, is once that. I put so this on... So you can't look at me bad if you're out there doing the same thing. Yeah, but I didn't And bring... I wasn't so, cheating. So, since you put a ring on Ms. Gray's finger, have you cheated? In what sense of the word do you mean cheating? <laughs> Let me tell you something. We don't have time for you to go research it, so we don't need you to use your book sense, use your common sense. I asked you an easy question. Now give me the hard answer. Yes, Your Honor, I have been talking to other females while I have been married. Talking? Yes. Have you had I... sex with anyone else no, since you've been married? No, ma'am, not at all. See, no, I haven't been Honor. doing any of that. Nothing. My ex, he calls, and he has an issue with him calling, but... He called, he, he... sent money while she was pregnant. Yeah, he sends money. Everything. He does all that. Like, he was the daddy, because you know what? And she have told you ever told your my... ex that he was the father? I told him it's a possibility, but he's in prison, so... Man, you, you gotta not say possibility to him. You couldn't say possibility, no possibility to him. Ain't nobody gonna send you money from jail. Any man that has to sit in the house and listen to you talk on the phone with your ex is gonna be a man that might be talking on the phone to some women at some point. Exactly. All right, you know what, Ms. Gray? I wanna hear from your witness. Please step up to the podium, ma'am, and state your name. 
Oh, <laughs> My name is Tyresha right Simmons. Here. Hello, Miss Simmons. Thank you for joining us. What do you know about this situation? Okay, first off, he is a habitual liar. Okay. Seriously. For one, before he got married, we worked together, and he was flirting with the girls and mm -hmm. all in front of me like he just didn't care. And that was my issue. Have At some respect, warehouse. especially yeah. when this is my sister, okay? The second time, after the marriage, okay? No he wants to have a party. Well, it's not his party. It was my friend's party. I didn't know he knew my friend, okay? I walk in, nobody's right there. You go to the room, and who do I see laying on their back? A stripper on top of him. Booty all no in underwears, face. no bra, all in his it's face. It's a party, though. I mean, it's a party. That's not a party. That's not a party. That's not a party. That's, That's, a, party. Party. That's a strip tease. Like, Miss okay. Singleton. Oh, you're her. A party. I must be old, because I haven't been to one of those parties. I've never been to one of those parties. It wasn't even his kinky party. <laughs> Have you been to one of those parties? No, I haven't. Never. Hey, party. Your Honor, no, it was a good party, and she nasty. shouldn't have been there. That's what I'm saying. I'm that's all I I'm saying. Where I what are you so talking about? Your point no, is, he he is, is that Mr. Singleton me. is not the stand-up guy he that professes to be. No. He's putting on a persona. How can I be a stand-up guy? And Ms. Okay. Simmons, what are you hoping go, for today? Be. I'm hoping that the other guy is the father. I'm hoping that why? he has she wants nothing to do that because I love Maurice her. regardless. I understand she loves him. Regardless. But when you con when you when you okay, I can see the before marriage. But after marriage, come on now, you doing worse stuff than what you was doing before. Just have some respect for your wife. Forget me. Hey. Have respect for your wife. Hey. This is supposed to be your wife. You ain't supposed to have no other female jumping on top of you with her pouring liquor all over herself and you licking all on her. And you saw this. You <laughs> only with my two eyes. It came you only me. Want, you yes. only and she asked me, was I gonna be mad? And I'm like, well, if he's in there doing that, let him. Let him do his own thing. She's a I'm woman like tripping. all the rest of us. She all right, Miss Simmons, thank you so much for that. Wow. Yeah, sit down. Please. <laughs> Mr. Please Singleton, down. I'm running this court. <laughs> thank you. Okay? You need to figure Talking out to how to run yourself like and your marriage. I will, Your Honor, yes. Yeah. I'm ready for the results. Jerome. Here you go, Your Honor. Your Honor. Yes, you had something to say? I just want to address the court and say that if this is not my baby, that... This ring right here don't mean nothing. You can have that. Mr. Singleton, that was dramatic. <laughs> However, you married this woman knowing that this child may not be yours. And you now you married want your way her. out. You took the vow. Now you want a way out. So now, this will I get back a ring? Wait a minute. If this child isn't yours, you want out. However, are you stopping to think about the child and the fact that you leave. may be he the person? Care. It's, Your Honor, leave. it's not about that. It's about the lie that obviously she and him and her must be have, must have been perpetrating. No, you this want a way. Oh, that, I mean, that's what I'm saying. You're gonna tell he me wants one thing. He wants a way out, Your Honor. Wait a minute. You stood here and said you stepped up to the plate because I, you're a good guy. I am. You stood right here, looked at me, and said. Because I'm a good guy, I did the right thing, I stepped up right. to the plate. All that's based on well, the fact that you Well, you still at that. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to tell you. There's a young child here that's relying on you. So I, it was dramatic and all, but it, it, a marriage is about sticking through yeah. the difficult times. Because he wants a way out, like I said. Now, Ms. Gray, what do you want from today? I want him to be her dad. I want to be with him. I love him. Otherwise, I mean, I would have never went this far. I know it's a possibility, and that's why I told him that it's a possibility. But I mean, it's that easy for him to just give his ring up, then I guess he can go. You have tears in your eyes, and that's because you do really love him. Yes. After everything. I mean, if it's just that easy, it's like, come on, man. Well, it's that easy, and after all we've been when through. When you're dealing with a child, that I have been but, with since. So you could just walk out on her? I've like been that, there and all this time, and you just told me it was something different. And now you tell, now it's, it's mine, it ain't mine, it's mine. What is it? That's why we're here today. That's why I brought you here, to find out. I'm not gonna, stand, I'm not gonna sit here and raise no child that ain't mine. The only way we can move this entire saga forward is to get the results. Are you ready? Yes, Your Honor. Are you ready? Yes, Your Honor.
These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics. They read as follows. In the case of Singleton versus Gray, when it comes to baby Ariana Wallace, Mr. Singleton, you are not her Woo! father. Let it be, because you've been lying to me this whole time. I have not lied to you. I've, I've kept it 100 with you. I've told you the truth since the beginning. Man, well, let me crazy, keep man. it 100 with oh, the both Mary. of you. You all have done your tit for tat. You have done your dirt. This mess, you all have created. And there's a three-year-old little girl who now won't have the man that she knows as father. She doesn't know anything about all this. So I'm here to speak for her. Ms. Gray, you said you liked thugs. You got a guy. You thought he was different. He let you down. He wasn't different. You're allowing men to, to get you off your game. Yes, Your Honor. The baby is going to be relying on you, and you need to get yourself together. Just because a guy goes and jumps off a bridge, you jumping too? No. I didn't think so. If you all decide you're not going to be married, if you decide you're going to walk away and you don't want to be with Ms. Gray anymore, that's your business. But you better be man enough to look yourself in the mirror and say, you knew good and well there was a large chance that this child wasn't yours. And I'm not talking about because she got red hair. I'm talking about because Ms. Gray told you. You married her anyway. You stepped into that child's life and assumed a role you put on the daddy hat and you wore it when it was convenient and made sense for you. Now you gotta be man enough to wear the hat because it makes sense to her. Yes, Your Honor. That's what this courtroom is about. Clean up the mess. Figure it out. Court is adjourned. I feel that I still want my husband. And I wanna be back with him. I don't want him to leave me. As I walk away from paternity court, I feel like I don't have the ring no more, so I think we're done. We have a family. It shouldn't just be that easy for him to just walk away like that. I married her for a reason, and that was to do the right thing. And now, it's not my baby, so I don't know what I'm gonna do.